Hello friends, I am Ashish. I welcome all of you into this chapter. In this exercise, I'll show you how to erase the startup configuration. That is the configuration that is saved in NVRAM. Okay, and after that, we will reload this device. And once it comes up, we will see what are the things we can set up initially. So this is right now Nexus 5K. If you do show startup, you would see the saved configuration. Okay, actually I had already deleted this configuration for your information. Okay, but uh, I will show you the command which we can use to uh, delete it. Okay, but running configuration you can see I have this interface description mentioned here. Okay, the command is write erase to delete the startup. Write erase. If you hit enter, it will ask you, do you want to proceed? By default, it says no, but you have to hit yes if you want to delete. Okay, it has deleted that configuration right now. Uh, in the traditional devices, you may have noticed that the right command, the right keyword used to have only one option, that is memory, which, which eventually will save the configuration into your startup that is running configuration will get saved but in nexus there is no such option okay so the configuration is deleted but running configuration is not let's say let's see this interface okay so this is command one next now we will reload this device command is very simple reload you can say reload all in case you are in the admin vdc you can, if you want to reload particular facts, you can do facts. Then this power cycle, I don't know what is the ADM. But uh, if you hit enter, then you would only delete, uh, not delete, but uh, reload your device, your VDC. Okay, because I am right now not in uh, uh, default VDC, so I can only reload my let's hit enter it will say this command will reboot the system do you want to continue yes actually it's a 5k device it doesn't have uh, VDCs there are some models of 5k where you will have the option of uh, creating VDCs but if it was Nexus 7k then obviously things will be default VDC VDC 2 3 4 depends upon uh, whatever means whatever device you have of Nexus 7k so let's wait for it to start it will take around uh, five minutes and once it comes up I will then um, show you the basic setup okay it's basically a uh, data center device which takes time to restart and generally we do not reload these devices it we, we do it like uh, once in a year or once in five year okay you can see that uh, things are happening and in fact in the you know data centers we are not advised to reload this and we generally do not allow anyone even to touch it okay you can see that now the kickstart image the first image has already uh, means already started you can see image verification is okay now it is uh, doing the uh, power on self test okay and here it is uh, checking the module 1 of gig ethernet port test and you must be aware that all of the ethernet ports are represented by keyword eth okay you will not see like gig or 10 gig or fast you have to check the speed like show interface status or show uh, interface and mention the name of that okay and interface names will start interface numbers will start from 1 not from 0 so do not confuse yourself with that because in traditional switches we used to count uh, we used to consider port number 1 slash 3 as 4th port okay or 1 slash 5 as 6th port here 1 slash 5 means 5th port only so 
these are some of the things in fact these things I have already discussed uh, in my previous chapters but sometime we have to repeat because there are hundreds of new things in Nexus uh, now you can see that it is loading VDC 1 okay so I think in next couple of uh, minutes we should be able to have the access of this device and uh, right now I have I've used console access okay and uh, there are different things like you have to set up username and password you cannot simply say I just have to set up a password it will not work you have to have username and password and there is a complexity level in that which I will show you you cannot have password like Cisco okay you have to maintain that uh, syntax like one letter has to be capital one small one numeric okay these three things and also the password length has to be um, eight characters okay now it is uh, come up VDC one has come online so it is asking like actually just asking me about power on auto provisioning and continue with the normal setup do you want to configure that uh, uh, power provi provisioning which I actually don't know so I will just continue with the normal setup so I'll press no okay because for normal setup is no let's hit enter I would have to say a no okay I w it is not taking it why so okay uh, about power on auto provisioning and continue with normal setup I would have to say yes I don't know why it was not taking that uh, no maybe it is mandatory so let's wait and see how it goes on okay now this device is uh, ready for us to set up the basic things it says do you want to enforce secure password standard I would say yes in case I want to have some complexity else I can simply say no I would right now say yes enter the password for admin I'm gonna make it as uh, let's try to make it very simple Cisco it will not take it it says it has to be of eight characters okay I will say network Cisco it says it has to contain uh, these three things lowercase uppercase digits and special collectors means out of four I have to have three let's make it uh, capital N then small network network Cisco okay I didn't use any number so let's make it uh, network one and capital E T W O R K and numeric one okay it say it is based on a dictionary word so let's make it Cisco Nexus 5k C capital confirm the password so it has taken it Cisco Nexus 5k actually we had chosen the option yes that is a, a securely securely entering the password that's the reason we have to maintain that syntax else we could have chose we could have chosen to ignore that now would you like to enter the basic configuration dialog box yes I want to set up yes do you want to create another login account I would say no I don't want to create it configure read only as an MP string I don't want right now configure read write community uh, string of SNMP no enter the switch name I'll say Ashish 1 Ashish uh, 5k 1 or A you want to continue with MGMT management configuration actually management 0 is for out of band access to devices and it is a part of default I means VRF management which is created by default I would say yes what, you, what is the IP address you want to configure here I'll say this is IP 
separate mask do you want to set up default gateway yes what is the IP address of default gateway let's make it uh, 254 okay enable the telnet services no I don't want to enable it enable SSH let's do it yes we have to have either uh, telnet or SSH since SSH is secure so I have uh, decided to pick mention as yes type of SSH key you would like to generate I'll say RSA number of key bits I'll say 1024 do you want to configure NTP server no I don't uh, basic fabric channel configuration because it is complex so I don't want to would you like to edit the configuration so you can see that these are the changes we have made okay see this thing we configure switch name we configure the IP address of interface management zero interface this is IP no shutdown exit VRF context actually VRF context is automatically management I told you this is the default gateway we configured so it automatically added the route obviously it would mean that any anything default you would go to you would uh, come to this IP address to be able to enter into Nexus 5k this device then I disable the telnet and I enabled the SSH key RSA 1024 the force keyword is basically used to overwrite the existing SSH key which is which is present or may be present and then we enabled SSH would you like to edit the configuration no because I have already configured it in case I want to do it I can have this option use this configuration and save it yes now it has saved that configuration into uh, startup that is NVRAM let's wait okay so let's uh, use username admin password was uh, Cisco Nexus 5k it is we are we're all set okay so you can see that show startup configuration if you do show startup SSH no we would have to use begin SSH let me see if I can find out that okay anyways uh, show startup if you go down this is the configuration okay you can see this IP address so whatever changes we made that went to this let's check the basic thing show module module you can see it's a nexus 5k 5548 okay and it's a daughter card show version kickstart image version system image power sequence this is the file name of uh, that kickstart system file name device name available boot memory in boot flash it is around uh, 2 GB okay means 2007 MB divided by 1024 up time so we are all set show interface status these are the interfaces show interface description you know earlier we had the description on interface ethernet 1 slash 1 it is gone because we didn't save the configuration so let me once again mention that uh, description as Ashish and verify it and copy run space start okay so if I do show startup and go down I would say this, this description okay earlier I couldn't show you the difference when I erase the configuration let me erase that startup configuration now right erase you want to proceed yes okay
now let's see if we have the configuration show startup we don't have it okay this thing I wanted to show you this command basically delete deletes the startup other things we can check is show IP interface brief if you want to check the management then use VRF management show run interface MGMT0 okay show IP route show IP route uh, management means VRF management okay so this is how we can configure that uh, initial setup of 5k in fact 7k as well some things may be different in 7k like VDC creation and all these things but eventually things will be in your control and one more thing I wanted to show you that uh, show SSH service server it is enabled show SSH key you can see that we had generated this key and it is available show telnet show telnet server not enabled show features these are the features if you want to see the enabled feature you can do show run feature no show run pipe include feature okay and uh, that's it friends this is the basic setup so you've seen how to erase the configuration how to reload it means particular VDC or all VDC you have to mention in case of 7k because this one has only one VDC and how to set up the basic configuration so you have to make sure that you do not end up rebooting every VDC by doing so okay if you are the network admin then you would have right to uh, make changes in all of the VDCs but if you're VDC admin then you would be restricted only to that particular VDC like show user accounts okay I am right now network admin so friends I hope that it's been informative to you and I would like to thank you for viewing have a nice day